Facebook. I got a home workout for you, as you see. I'm at, in the comforts of my own home this evening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an instructional video of how to build a bigger and better chest at home without any weights. But for myself, I'm going to use these push-up bars and this footstool. And if you don't have any push-up bars, just use, you know, the floor. This is for all the beginners out there. And in order to build a better body, you must have a strong foundation. Um, foundation is everything when it's, when, it's, when it's talking about building muscle. So with that being said, I'm going to give you a three-part chest workout series here that you can do at home. Don't forget about the challenge that Mrs. Grown Man 101 put on Facebook today. If you're a beginner, I'll say you can try that, but if not, you can try this right here. But we're going to do three different types of push-ups to hit the upper pecs, the lower pecs, and straight across. I want you to do this five times around and knock out 10 push-ups on each move, okay? So you're going to do some regulars, you're going to do some incline and some decline, which is going to hit all three facets of the chest muscle. That's how you build the foundation. Even myself, Mr. Grown Man 101, I started out just working out at home doing push-ups, pull-ups, um, stool dips for my triceps, you know. So those that are not ready to go to the gym, you can still go beast mode and grown man 101 and doing what I do at home each and every single day in the comforts of your own home where you can still have your TV on uh, or your radio and you don't have to worry about, you know, I'm lifting 95 pounds or 65 pounds in the gym. So let's start out by building a bigger and better foundation first. So I want you to give this a shot whether you have push-up bars or you're just using the floor. We want to just get down, and if you can't do 10, it's all about what you can do for yourself. If you can do knockout four, do four reps of your push-ups, but each move. So with that being said, I'm going to get started with these push-up bars. And I'm just going to knock out 10 to just give you an idea of how to do it utilizing the stool. You want to be about shoulder width apart, elevate, make sure that you are parallel to the ground. Okay, and you want to go down and you want to be about six inches off the ground. That's one. And go back down. That's two. Three. Four. Five. And you want to make sure that you, you feel that pec muscle stretching. That means that you are forcing that blood and you're tearing those muscles down, but you're forcing that blood inside that muscle to make you grow. Now, from that move, you want to go ahead and utilize your stool and do incline pushes, decline push-ups, which is going to hit that upper pec. And the only thing you need is a footstool. That's 10. Now, for the incline push-ups. If you have two full stools, that'll be great. If you have one, that's fine too. But the incline push-ups is gonna hit your lower pec. I know it seems weird, but it hits your lower pec. When you do decline push-ups, it hits your upper pec. And when you hit your upper pec, it builds muscle around the collarbone. So it makes your chest puff out. You know, that's, see, it's puffed out. So let's go ahead and get started on the incline push-ups. And since I'm using this footstool, it's going to really hit my tries as well, too, because i got a closer grip. But you want to make sure you're parallel and go all the way down, back up. And that's how you would build a bigger chest. Try that out. If you can knock out 10 push-ups, knock out 10 on each different move for your chest. If you can knock out five, knock out five each round for your chest. It's not a rat race of building a bigger and better body. 
It's all about having patience, dedication, and putting in hard work each and every single day. But with that move, you're going to target not only just your chest, but your triceps, and you also want to um, target those front delts, which is this right here.